Yo, dude, check it out. <laughs> it's Crashing with Friends podcast, episode 146. I'm the host today, Jackson Brayman. We got Connor Hobbs. What's up? Kyle Hobbs. I'm winning gold. How you wishes. <laughs> and Blake Ellison. Yo. Blake is new on the podcast, first time guest. So uh, let's go ahead and just hop right into it. We'll start with Connor, so you can show Blake how we do it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> How's your week going, bro? Pretty good. I just saw this morning that the U.S. has already won two silvers as of Saturday morning. Ooh. So, yeah, shout out to the U.S. We're, we're already winning out there. Um, they show, what was the categories? Or did um, you just say? One was uh, synchronized diving. Uh, two chicks won that. And then another one was a cyclist um, who won bronze. And I, apparently a few years ago, she had like a bad wreck and stuff. So it was like a pretty good redemption mm. story on that one. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, I uh, also saw that they, like there was a sabotage there where they cut the rail lines and stuff. Did you guys see anything on that? Mm. Mm-hmm. Nah. That was pretty, pretty wild to see that. I saw morning. pictures of the rail line. looked like it was splintered in a bunch of pieces and... Yeah, apparently there was like <clears throat> possibly like thermite or something or s- some sort of thermal... Um, of course it was thermite. Yeah. Dang. It's always been thermite. Jet yeah. fuel. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, burns hot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, aside from that, just playing uh, video games, uh, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, getting really far into that. Um, re- recently started playing No Man's Sky. Uh, I'm going to let Kyle talk about that. I'm not zoom, gonna, zoom. not going to take that glory. Um, but yeah, just enjoying um, the end of the boys. Um Continue to enjoy House of the Dragon. I think really like to like Game, <laughs> of, Game of Thrones, like really big story, kind of got too big, too broad. This one a little bit more focused and more concise. Showing what really was good about Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. More yeah. even more dragons too. So it's like yeah, that's what we want. Yep. Um, and supposedly there's a, based off of how the how f- quickly they're moving through that. Uh, the book or whatever. Uh-huh. Supposedly, they're only like just a small piece of that book so far. And if they want to do that whole book, it's going to be a lot more seasons. Really? Okay. Yeah. Supposedly, there's a lot more that we haven't even seen yet. Hell yeah. So saddle up, partner. <laughs> get, dun, on, dun, 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 dun. Okay. get on that dragon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ride that dragon. Um, yeah. And then uh, just running a lot uh recently like last saturday i ran two miles can like non-stop for the first time ever insanity yeah it took 17 minutes and uh 26 seconds so i'm like dude that's that's crazy and i'm like maybe i can do this all the time so then monday um uh, and like the first time it was like perfect weather 70 degrees clouds a little bit of a cool breeze it was like it was perfect uh, Monday I tried to do it and it was like 90 degrees and sunny and like super humid and all that. I, I ran a mile. I'm like, nope, I'm not doing it. I was like <laughs> sweating. Uh, but then Wednesday I, I did another, uh, two mile run in uh, 17 minutes, 13 seconds. So Damn. I improved my time by 13 seconds. Good job, bro. Yeah, dude. It, it was, it was pretty cool. Like I gains all, all to my <laughs> new, uh, my, my shoes, man, they make me feel a lot uh, better running. Because the the other shoes I had, like the the toes were too narrow, so it's like the more you run on like narrow toed shoes, it's like the worse it gets, you know. Right. Um, but like these wide toed shoes, these like Hoka ones, they're like they feel like clouds, and like the feet are not a problem running on asphalt and stuff like that, which I do. Um, so it's it's pretty cool. I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'd say I'm a runner now, since I've gotten the two miles twice. We're gonna keep doing it, you know. But uh, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that that's about it nice. for me. You think you're close to getting those shoes that just like form, like, look like feet? You know what I'm talking about? No. Um, <laughs> the ones that have like the toes. Yes. Oh, end. okay. I was dude, I was imagining like the the comically big like fake feet. Oh uh, no. Okay. Um, I'm talking about form fitting. I I had thought about getting some of those for like disc golf, but then decided against it. Um, but I don't know. I mean. I hear they're interesting. I don't know if my feet would. <laughs> I don't know if my feet would respond well to them. That's the thing. It's like I could try them, but I don't know if like long term if my feet would actually 
Because, like, they're, they're supposed to, like, build the muscles in your toes and stuff and make your feet stronger, right? Something like that. Mm, I can see that. Um, yeah. But then I can also see it possibly pulling something in my toes and just, like, I, I don't know, hitting something, you know. We'll see. But uh, probably not. I probably won't. <laughs> uh, Trying to build that toe dexterity. Yeah. yeah you probably, wide toe having Jezebel. I probably, <laughs> I probably won't be doing that. But, uh, yeah, that, that's about it. Nice. Blake. Oh, I already oh, said Jackson. Oh, 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 oh. I think we both said it at the same okay, time. So you, you're your host, sorry. Blackson. Blackson. <laughs> Blake, how's your week going, man? Uh, pretty good. I'm just uh, grinding out these hours because I got like two trips planned. Going to Denver on Friday. And then in September, I was telling Connor about this at work. Um, my buddy's got like season tickets to the Arizona Cardinals because he's a Cardinals fan. Mm-hmm. They play the Rams in September. And so NFL. We're go to that. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah. Can't start quick enough. What are you doing, Cal? Oh, changing some money. Oof. <clears throat> Keep going. But other than work, I just go home to my dogs, take care of them, and don't really have much time after work. Mm-hmm. I have like an hour or two to myself. And by the time I'm done with like home chores and stuff, it's basically time to go to bed. So Dang. Nothing too much right now. What do you got planned for the Denver trip? Uh, to be honest, we don't. He doesn't know. He's just like, I just, I've never been to Denver. I want to go to Denver. And I was like, okay, <laughs> whatever. I guess we got 12 hours to figure out something to do on the way there. <laughs> nice. yeah, how long are you going to be there? Uh, until Monday morning. Nice. And so then we'll drive back. So just Denver, or are you guys going to go anywhere else? I don't know. I would like to go somewhere else. I, I mean. Yeah, man. You should guys should go check out Red Rocks. Dude, I've never been there. And it's I'm, just badass. Yeah. yeah. I would definitely love to go there. Also, Estes Park, Colorado. It's not very far away from Denver, and it's probably the most beautiful town in America. And also, the Stanley Hotel isn't too far out from uh, Estes Park, which is where they did The Shining. Okay, that same that side of that to- same side of that token, I would say you should go to a place called Breckenridge, Colorado, which is I would say the most beautiful place I've ever been to in my whole life. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a Silver Spring from Joe Dirt. Okay, <laughs> I would be down to see that. What's up, Dad? So, <laughs> you got one, Connor? Yeah, this is something that we did um, that we really want to do again. Um, this ramen place, uh, sorry if I pronounce it wrong, um, Aj- Ajinoma or Ajinoya Ramen. A J I N O Y A Ramen. Uh, it's in Denver. Get that. Okay. That is like some of the best food ever. Get the spicy if you want to go spicy, but you might be crying. <laughs> it's like All it's right. like really spicy. But we got like pork ramen, and it was just like to die for, dude. Every time I go to Denver, I go there. Man, that shit's. All sick. right, you'll have to send that to me. Yeah, for sure. For that sure. and Bubba Gump Shrimp. If you've never been to that, <laughs> that's in most big cities there. though, but still pretty good. There's, there's one in Denver, so if you've never been to one of those, it's like hit that up, dude. It's All some right. really good seafood. All right, for sure. Also, if you're a music nerd like I am. Yeah. Pretty kick-ass record store there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah, if, you're huge. A, if you're a thrill enthusiast, you should go whitewater rafting. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather do that than like skydiving. It's so much fun. Yeah. I, I can't do skydiving. There's, There's different no grades to the whitewater too. Like when we did it, we did a grade three out of five. Mm-hmm. So it was like, there was some like points where it got a little crazy, but overall it wasn't too crazy. Okay. So you, you'd survive no problem. All right. I used to want to skydive until I saw Peggy Hill fucking break her whole body. Yeah, true yeah, that. The skydiving accident. You that was it? that was actually one thing he said he wanted to do, and I was like, uh, I'll watch. <laughs> I'll watch from the ground. No, thank what's, you. Yeah, what's cool is like when you like climb mountains, like some. Per, uh, what was that one spot? Um, it was like Eagle Ridge or I can't, like I can't remember what it was called. But like when you get to Denver, there's a place up in the mountains where people will just like um, catch the current and just like just s- spiral up in the air. Mm-mm. For as long as they want, and just you know, you, paragliders or whatever. Yeah, and you can just watch them up in the air. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we asked somebody, and they said, "Yeah, there's like a perfect air current that just will just pick you back up, and just yeah, pretty cool." But would you all do that? Yeah, I think I might. I think I would. Yeah, 
Uh, I, don't know. I uh, did see a video recently of like you know the some, some certain like YouTubers like take videos of them flying from city to city like on those yeah fan ones. I saw oh, a video yeah. of a guy. That's s- I would love to do that. S- I got saw a video of a guy snap break and he just plummets to the ground like on YouTube. It was fucking crazy. Wow. Damn, that sounds awful. yeah, dude. And he just it, <laughs> 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 you know poor guy fucked mm-hmm. up. Yeah, yeah, I'd hate to be that dude. Fuck doing anything that's like <laughs> requiring you just free falling in the air. Dude. Yeah, no. nah, not for me. Ever since yeah. I watched that episode of A Thousand Ways to Die, and they happened to show, they they were just like, you know what? Let's show something where somebody doesn't die but gets really fucked up, and it happens to be a woman skydiving over Joplin, Missouri, mm. and she hits like her parachute fucks up. She hits the pavement going 60 miles per hour oh, man. and gets Oof. so fucked up, but lives. Yeah, dude, that'd be my luck. <laughs> I'd want to do some shit like that. Anything else going on with hey, your, your life week? Not bad. You watch uh, anything new? No, I haven't really had time, man. Like, I really just <laughs> go home and do a bunch of nothing. Are you playing any new games? Do you um, play games at home? Mainly the sports games. Uh, I plan on getting NCAA just because it's been so long since that's came out. God, I want it so bad, but I don't have a console for it. So mm. you do PC? Yep. Gotcha. Buy a console, tight ass. <laughs> nah. <laughs> if you like it so much. Nah. They're not going to get me with their exclusives. They'll get you. Not nah, well, you'll like it. <laughs> maybe five or six years from now when it's way cheaper. But yeah, I feel that it's like six, five hundred, six hundred dollars. Uh, anything else going on with you, bro? No, not a whole lot. Jack, how's your week been, man? Bruh, it's been all right. I can't complain too much. Um, allergies are starting to come out of the woodworks. I've been <laughs> getting count. like that scratchy feeling in the back of my throat and nose. Hot nose, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that yeah. real hot nose. And uh, <laughs> uh, besides that, uh, went and saw Wolverine and Deadpool last night, which was fantastic. Will not do spoilers on this podcast, but I will say it's my favorite of the Deadpool like trilogy so far. And just like, uh, I would say, what was it? Uh not Infinity War, the one after that. Endgame. Endgame. Like, Endgame, it is just fan service out the ass. For oh, people wow. that actually yeah. like the Marvel Universe and everything that came before, especially even in Fox. Especially the Fox Universe. Yeah, especially yeah. The, Fox the Fox Marvel Universe. Yeah. Definitely a love letter to the Fox Universe. Yeah, de- it's definitely a lo- love letter to that. So, yeah. If you if you enjoyed any of the first two Deadpool movies, you're going to love this one. Mm-hmm. Agreed. That's yeah. all I can say. And it might have my favorite end credit scene of all time in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Holy shit, that end credit scene. Fucking insane. Yeah. The cameos, man. There are so many cameos that I just was not expecting. Man. Yeah. Just fucking... A lot of really good cameos that I can't believe did not get spoiled for me before it came out. Thank God. They did a right. good job of keeping a lot of that stuff secret. Like I was really added to the movie in a lot of ways, too. Mm-hmm. All the, all the uh, extra stuff. And stuff, especially it was like characters that were rumored to be certain characters that are finally playing certain characters that they've been wanting to play for a long time. You know, mm-hmm. just it was just really cool, man. Uh, I, I it was so funny. That there was joke upon joke upon joke where I was laughing so hard that I was missing jokes. Mm-hmm. You know, the only thing that I did say sucked about the whole experience was there was a motherfucker <laughs> that felt like they needed that movie to be the one where they're going to fucking talk like they're at home talking to their fucking friends about what they're seeing. It literally felt like that dude thought he was his, he was in his own YouTube, like, what do you call it? Uh, Watch along. Yeah. Like, whenever yeah. they f- first, re- like, spoilers, they reference the MCU a bunch of times in the movie, but you see that by the trailers. But well, the first time they really reference the MCU, he goes, I can't believe they're referencing the MCU in this movie. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening right now? And I look at Jackson, and Jackson's doing his face he does when he gets real fucking pissed. And he starts, like, <laughs> breathing in, tucking his lips in, like... 
And I'm just like, I look at Jackson, I'm like, Jackson, you gotta do something about this, bro. <laughs> get him, Jack, get him. He's like, you do something about this. I'm like, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> There was a there was a couple like the third time that he started talking like he said something and I audibly just went dude, <laughs> right. and he still didn't take the hint after that, and after that like I went and got somebody from the lobby and you can tell somebody else had done that previously because that manager walked down to the bottom yeah mm-hmm. I went and talked to the same guy that came into that theater and he was like yep someone else already uh, came in and said that and I was like dude just hang out. I promise you he's going to say something within the first three minutes of you being in that theater. And sure enough, he fucking did. And did, luckily, did not hear anything else from him for the rest of the movie until the credits started the rolling. Credits, and then yeah. he would not shut the fuck up. Yeah. And he was there by himself. He was he didn't have no friends there. He's two dudes sitting there. They weren't his friends. <laughs> really? <laughs> they were not his friends. <laughs> oh man those poor guys <laughs> we hate you man I, the one that was sitting right next to him I kept seeing him look over to his left just going like are you fucking serious dude <laughs> <laughs> look bad. that was rough dude yeah it was yeah man yeah it, it was it was the Pittsburgh Kansas experience all over again <laughs> just goes to show you don't hate the theater hate the player I hate the people in yeah. there yeah holy shit dude that was rough like, there was yeah. a part where there's a big exposition between the bad guy and Deadpool, and, like, the bad guy is pretty much telling Deadpool his whole plot. I didn't hear a fucking word of it, because in my brain, I'm fucking pissed at this guy. Yep. And my thoughts are over overplaying the movie in my head, because I'm like, I gotta do something about this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, get, get him out of here. <clears throat> yeah. I, I had Skittles in my hand the entire time I was thinking about just throwing <laughs> Skittles tell. at him. You had one in your hand, and you were about to fucking flick it. I could tell. You, like... You're looking at him, fucking <laughs> pulling one out like you're gonna load it into a slingshot. I was about to turn like into that kid from like the seventies, eighties movies that are in the back of the theater, just like get down in front, <laughs> the, Fuck, the complete asshole, belligerent dude. I was not about to let that fucker ruin the whole movie for me, dude. I was gonna be, I if he would have kept going, I think I might have walked out and got my money back and went and saw it some another time. I was also very semi nervous looking at him because he brought a bag in with him. Oh god! And the first thing I thought of, I was like, "There's probably a gun in that bag." That's why. And he looked like the kind of guy that got picked on in school a lot. And based on what he was doing in the theater, probably got picked on a lot. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. And I, part of me also felt bad because that manager was in there, and I'm like, dude. How much this movie is being spoiled for this manager? He's getting little segments of it if he didn't already see it. That's what also kept going through my brain. I was like, this sucks for this guy. You know what I'm saying? But that's what if you get the, into when you're in the business. If he's the, one of the managers, he's already seen it, man. Yeah, don't they get like early access to movies? Probably. Yeah, it's like as soon as they get it, they can watch it, I would imagine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God, it was a great movie, though, man. Yeah, definitely worth uh, watching again in the theater, which is hard to say for a lot of movies. Yeah, mm-hmm. I may end up going to see it again in theaters. I'm going to. I'm going to. Mm. <laughs> which one did you guys go to? Yo Show Cinema. Nice. Yeah. A B&B yeah. theater. Yeah. Yeah. It's got them nice, comfy, yeah, lazy boy nice. chairs. Number three biggest movie theater chain in the whole country. Mm-hmm. Respected. And, they'll let Respected. You, and they're proud about being number three. They'll let you know. And soon they'll be coming to Joplin with a 4DX Theta. I cannot wait for that, dude. Mm-hmm. If there was one closer around here, I would I would have already gone and seen Twisters in it. Twisters was dope. I heard Twisters was good in 4DX. Yeah. I went to the drive, drive-in, drive but... Really? Yeah, was that one was going to be my second choice. But then I thought, like, man, I haven't been into the drive-in in so long. And I don't want to go to the drive-in by myself again, so. <laughs> yeah. Jackson. Yeah. What's going on? That, that's basically been my week. Okay. Yeah. That Deadpool movie and a lot of Elden Ring finally got past the point where I was last time on it, so. Yeah. Hell yeah. Progress, progress. Kyle. Thanks, guys. Uh, my week's been good, man. Um, I've been watching some Olympics already. It's good. But also, dude, the last episode of that video game documentary that I talked about last year, it's called uh, Psych Odyssey. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. It's it's the double fine people, the people who made, like, uh, Psychonauts and, uh, like, Grim... Like, gr- I don't know about... Broken Grim- Age. Broken Age, yeah. Just a bunch of g- really cool games. 
but uh, they released the last episode of the whole entire documentary today, and it was so fucking good, man. It just brought up a bunch of memories of the documentary. Like, the, the documentary is so damn good. And I didn't expect it, dude, but when they started rolling the credits, man, I fucking started crying. I can't help myself, dude. The older I get, I just can't stop crying about this fucking sentimental shit. Hey, I don't know what it same. is, man. God, I wish I could stop, but like... Hey, man, there's nothing wrong with a good cry, right. dude. Hey, it, it, cry, dude. I, it started happening. I literally put on videos to purposefully cry sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what a sicko. But like, I, it's just, when I feel the tears start coming, it's like... It's almost like, man, fuck it. Arr, get it out. You know, it just like kind of feels good. Damn, I'd hurt my neck just doing that. But yeah. like, it feels good. You know, it's like, man, I feel good. Experiencing all emotions. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. yeah. And that, I mean, because yeah. it was like, you went from like joy to like crying. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just because I love that fucking documentary so good. If you care about how video games are made, and if you care about video games as much as I do, like, watch that shit. It's just, it's 25. Four episodes of awesome. So fucking good, man. Hold on. I think it's like 30 something, right? Is, Is it like 32 okay. or something? What's Did up? you just call me a sicko for purposely watching videos that make me cry? <laughs> That's what he said, yeah. Yeah, but this is a whole documentary. It's not like I purposely watched it to cry. I, I'm just, yeah, no, I mean, I'm just yeah, saying, he's just saying, there's nothing wrong with crying. Yeah. And sometimes right. I'll put on freaking soldiers coming home to their families and I'll just be like, dude. Yeah, I'm. I'm not looking for it though. He put on videos to laugh. He puts them on to cry. Hey man, yeah. everybody's got their fucking. Hey kink. man, everybody has their kink. I get it. Okay. No, I'm. I'm just saying the brain does some pretty crazy endorphin releases after you do like a good old like ah oh, heartwarming cry. You know. Mm hmm. You feel hope. Yeah. Feel <laughs> rebellion feel is built on hope. Rebellion is built on hope. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I try to rebel, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> also been playing a lot of that new uh, No Man's Sky update. I've had that game for so long, and it's been out since 2016, but I finally now I'm getting into it. But they released an update that just, like, changed how the world, the, all the planets look and changed how the fauna is and how the atmosphere is and, like, how the clouds are and just pretty much everything in the game. Um, it just It's so much fun right now. I don't know why I'm loving it, but it's just so chill, and it's it's one of those games where I can watch a sports game and fucking play it at the same time and not totally have to pay attention to the story. I can just fucking mind shit, figure stuff out and fly around and go to planets. And mm -hmm. it's such a chill game, dude. Like once you figure out the main conceit of it and how to, how to actually do stuff, it's like, Oh dude, this is so easy. It's just a, it's just a checklist turnkey. I can just fucking get through it all and just keep going. Um, I'm really loving it, man. Can't recommend it enough. Um, also, man, I went to that. <clears throat> I went to the dentist this week. Got my teeth clean. Still doing good. I may have to get my root canal fixed soon because they said the bottom of it may be chipped, like the very bottom of the root. I'm like, that's mm. fucked up, dude. But that's how it goes, man. They're supposed to only last for like ten years, and I'm like six years into this root canal. So you know, I've had a good run. Um, you mean uh, it's not a root canal. It's a fucking crown. A crown. Yeah. Yeah. But uh. It, you know, I'll take my wins, take my losses. They said if it doesn't hurt, I can keep it for a while. But every time I go in there, they talk about how I've got like an underbite or whatever, or like an overbite, whatever one. But this is the first time they said I've got a crossbite, dude. And the first thing that came to my head is like, looking back at me. Yeah. <laughs> like, cro crossfade, you know what I'm talking okay. about, dude? The moment he said it, the fucking, I'm just like, God dang it, dude. Can I bite the bullet and get braces? No, for the crossbite, they had to break my jaw. Damn, and I have to have like my teeth realigned, wi wired up and shit wired. for like a month or two. Oh shit! So yeah. you just told him, nah, I don't look that bad. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> whatever. I, I've got a I've got a wife that loves me and kids that think that I'm okay. So whatever. I'm not trying to impress anybody. I, I'm never gonna get my my jaw broken. Crossbite, dude. That's a cool like superhero. Or Call me a sicko for watching crying videos one more time, and I'll I'll break your jaw. Bring it any day of the week. I love you, Jack. That's I love you. Crazy thing to hear, man. That, that, that sucks. Yeah, it doesn't affect my daily life. I'm still eating like a normal person. All the Oreos you want, yeah. dude. Like you don't even know. Last night I had like seven or eight Oreos before I go to bed. Damn, mm, dude. A whole line of Oreos. It just <sighs> <laughs> so good, bro. A whole flight. Hey, I've been there. Yeah. 
But man, fill up your beer bong with milk and Oreos, and you just yeah, bang. just double bong oh, yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Unfortunately, dude, I fucking my car start stopped running, so I had to get a freaking new starter. I thought it was the alternator. Nope, it was mm-hmm. starter. So like three hundred bucks overall for all this shit. But that's how it goes, man. Mm-hmm. That's life. Now we're gonna get to you, Blake. <laughs> So we have a crashing with friends, <clears throat> thirty question questionnaire. Okay. That we like to ask new people that come on here. So the first question, man, get, you got any stories where you've massively ate some shit, got fucked up, or broke a bone or anything? <clears throat> uh, I have a few broken bone stories. Um, they're all basketball related. Mm. No shit, all yeah. of them. Yeah. Okay. Um, I broke my jaw. Me and a teammate were, like, in transition, and we cut to the basket at the same time, and I, like, I ran into his shoulder, and it snapped my jaw right here, (laughs) and fractured the left side of my jaw. Dang, bro. Did you have to uh, wire it up? Yeah, for two months. Did you have a cross bite beforehand? Just <laughs> no. No, I have an overbite now though. <laughs> oh, because of that. Mm-hmm. Damn. Because they also had to like pull four teeth. Shit. <laughs> yeah, it was awful. So, how was that Damn. experience of having your wire or your job wired shut? Um, the eating part wasn't that bad. You know, just make a smoothie every day or whatever. And the worst part is like you know you can't lick your lips. You can't. Ah, yeah, mm. dude. Oh, like, dude. I know it doesn't sound like much, but <laughs> you realize how bad you want to lick your lips when you're wiping, wiping your mouth all the time with, yeah. like, whatever. Uh, can't yawn. Mm. Oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> What's that intense. feeling like when you have to yawn, but you literally to, can't? I just had to, like, keep it shut. <sighs> it's like you almost want to, like, open your throat a little more or compress your throat or something it's like uh how do you get it out when you can't get it out man that's so frustrating yeah it's, you, it was awful was it a constant feeling of claustrophobia for like two months oh yeah there was a lot of more anxiety i guess yeah, yeah. god it's i'm having that. anxiety thinking about it yeah 10 out of 10 don't recommend that was kind of like the first week of uh when i had my um sure smile Invisalign type stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was like the first week or two, it was like really, really hard. It's like, man, this is my life now. This constant pain of Mm -hmm. my mouth hurting, but you get used to that. But I'm, I'm sure like, did you like probably a week or two and you're used to it or, uh, I don't know if I ever really got used to it. No, I was, I was like literally counting down the days Mm -hmm. and it was during COVID. So like wasn't much I could do to keep myself busy. So play video games with my friends. Mm-hmm. And mumble to them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Talk to <laughs> yeah, so so the the guy. And I was a salesman at Boost, so like I was just always talking through my teeth. Mm. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. It was horrible. So, did you get sympathy sales? No. Welcome no. to Boost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um got a lot of oh, what happened? I'm just like, dude, I'm tired of telling everybody about this. <laughs> well, let me fucking tell you, motherfucker. <laughs> I want to uh, just start making up lies. Save two kids from a burning bus. <laughs> <laughs> On the way out, there's a gorilla. He hit me in the face. <laughs> I should have done that. Did you, when you got him off, was just a fucking feel of freedom? No, was dude. It so it was like, it was actually really painful when you get it unwired because your mouth is just set for so long so like first meal i tried to eat i was like i want pizza so like i couldn't even chew the pizza so i was like fuck i gotta make another smoothie (laughs) yeah it was it was sore for a while how long i'd say like close to a week Damn. Mm -hmm. yeah so if you can keep away from breaking your jaw to have it fixed have your tooth teeth fixed i would uh yeah not recommend it yeah have you went out and balled since then? Yeah. Do you play a little bit more apprehensively or? Oh yeah, I'm definitely a lot more cautious of where I'm at, who's around me and shit. Yeah. Not just running down the court, head banging the whole time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Chin first. Yeah. yeah. Like a boxer just running the whole time like this. For sure. I'm, yeah, a, I'm like looking like I'm tweaking out there. <laughs> <laughs> head on a swivel. Yeah. 
Another one, uh, I broke. I had like a fracture in my elbow because I tried to, you know, block somebody, but they pump faked and I like fell over their shoulder. Oh, and ooh, then man. like put my arm out like an idiot. Mm. And it extended, hyper extended. Yeah. So when you see a person with an arm bar that hyper extends, you know that feeling. Yeah. Oh my god. Sure. I'm like that does not feel good. <laughs> Yeah, I've done that skateboarding. Luckily, never broke it, but yeah. Mine was just a hairline fracture, though. So, like, I mean, obviously, it still hurt really bad, but I didn't have to have a cast or anything. Second time I tore my ACL, it was a hyperextension. So, I I know, mm. like, just the joints aren't supposed to go the other way. It's yeah. just like, oh, mm. fuck. Yeah, dude. Mm. I feel your pain, bro. What's the best sandwich? The best sandwich? Yeah. Hmm. Anything toasted? Like, I like meatball marinara's. Those are pretty good. Or like a chicken parmesan. You know who also likes those a lot? Who? Yeah. You know, I'm a meatball sub guy. Yeah. That's my classic go to. Yeah, for sure. You can't go wrong with it. I've been to Subway or sub shops with you so many times, and every single time you get the same thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Classic meatball. Jack. The meatball man. That's because that's because that's my time to eat a meatball sub. No, I'm at a I'm at a sandwich shop. I get to have a meatball sub now. No. <laughs> I don't understand the problem. No problem. No problem. Simple Jack. Simple subs. Simple man. He knows what he likes. We're not hard to please. Yeah. Right. right. Um, if you had the ability to catch things on fire, what would you catch on fire right now? Hmm. What I catch on fire right now? I don't know. Damn. What's the first thing that came to your mind? Dude, honestly, I kind of just drew a blank on that one. (laughs) Meatball sub? Meatball sub. He was like, there's a ninth grade teacher. (laughs) (laughs) Ninth grade teacher. He was a real bitch. Let me tell you. (laughs) Do you have like a hidden skill or talent? I wouldn't say so. No. Like Jackson can belly dance? I can. No proof necessary, though. <laughs> no proof needed. You can't, like, bend your arm, like, 360 degrees or anything? No, I'm not double-jointed anywhere. You can't, like, projectile uh, ectoplasm reticulum? I don't even know what that is. Mm. <laughs> Do you speak German while you're sleeping or no. anything like that? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no no hidden talents, really. No crazy gang signs you can make with your fingers or anything? Uh-uh. Okay. uh Please don't. No <laughs> way you can. <laughs> uh, what's, your favorite, what's your favorite curse word? Fuck. For sure. That's probably the most used. It feels good. It it's does. Got, it's got the most virtuosity out of it. And that's not the word. you're having a bad day, just... Versatility. Versatility. Might, <laughs> might make you feel better. It's so virtuous. <laughs> yeah. I was like, as soon as I said virtuosity, I was like, that's fucking stupid, Jackson. That's not the word. Uh, werewolves, vampires, zombies. Mm. Which one you, would you make real? Probably zombies. Now, marry, fuck, kill. Which one? <laughs> marry, fuck, kill a zombie, vampire, or a... Oh, God. Werewolf. Kill a, zo- kill a zombie. Marry a werewolf, fuck a vampire. That's hot. That's hot. (laughs) You're a centaur now. What's the first thing you do? A a centaur? Yeah. What is that? Half horse, half man. What's the first thing I do? Yeah. Yeah. Either way. Basically horse body, but then you got like a human half. Or you could have a horse. You could have a horse top half if you want and just have a human lower half. And what's the first thing I'm doing? Yeah. 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 Hmm. Shit, dude. I don't know. Go on a run. I don't know. There you go. Mm-hmm. You got the legs. Yeah. Might as well take advantage of them. If you could hack a corporation or hack anything, who are you hacking right now? Tesla. Tesla? Yeah. Okay. You want one of those Optimus robots? Yeah. Supposedly, he's saying everybody's going to have one of those in the next <clears throat> very soon. An Optimus Prime robot? <clears throat> They're calling him Optimus. I don't know if it's the fucking... 
Okay. He well, said Optimus. I assumed Opt- Optimus Prime, but... When know. he says everyone's going to have one, I hope he means that he's just going to fucking roll them out and give them to people. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to buy a robot. No. What's the best flavor? Grape. What's the best artificial flavor? Uh, I don't know. Grape as well. <laughs> Grape as well, I guess, yeah. <laughs> I, I believe that's, you probably answered the first question, meaning thinking it was the second oh, question. Okay. <laughs> I think it was like, okay, you're a NASCAR, you're a NASCAR driver now. Who's your sponsor? Who's my sponsor? Hmm. Lugs. I'll say ghost energy drink since I drink those all the time. Heck yeah. Nice. <clears throat> all right. They're making a movie about you, bro. Oh, gosh. Who's playing you? Who's playing me? Hmm. I would like Ryan Reynolds to play me. Everyone wants Ryan Reynolds to play I know, play dude. <laughs> but, like, you can't go. Or, or, or um, Jason Bateman would be cool. Hell, yeah. Yeah. You rest the development fan? Kind of. I got into it a little bit, but not like too much. It's like our favorite show. I'm like really bad at starting stuff and not finishing it. I've yeah, got, I've got someone else. Like I can that feel in that. My life. Yeah. With that show, it's just the first three seasons is all you'd really need to watch. Okay. Yeah, once it gets to the Netflix episodes, then it's kind of like meh. Yeah. Not a, it doesn't have the same charm that it had. Right. Right. Yeah. All right, man. Do you think you could cut off an arm if you no, had to? No. Life or death, you couldn't do it? I'm dying. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I could do it, no. Like some saw stuff? No. Probably not. Now, if you got bit by a snake, which limb are you cutting off if you got bit by the snake, though? Because you got to get that venom out, you're just going to sit there and die? I would just try to suck it out, I guess. That doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't work. Okay. Uh-uh. I mean. It's common misconception. Yeah. False. False. <laughs> it's not true. You can't do it. Which, I mean, limb, which limb are you cutting off? Which limb? Yeah. Which one could you live without? <sighs> Probably an arm, I guess. I wouldn't want to be in a wheel, like not be able to walk. Yeah. But they make legs that are better than your actual legs now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> true. Be the Blade Runner, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. Dan. And then accidentally kill your wife? Don't be that. Yeah, don't no. try not to do that. I <laughs> yeah, don't do that. But then you could also maybe be that hot chick on uh, what was it, the Kingsman that had like oh, the yeah. blade legs. Okay, yeah, yeah, deadly. You become <laughs> blade legs. <laughs> <laughs> She's also the main girl in that fucking Zack Snyder movie, Rebel Moon. Oh, uh, is she? Okay. And they gave her like a boy haircut in that movie and shit. Okay, yeah. yeah. Fuck. Uh, Terrible what they did to her. Would you rather be the Terrible. best at a sport but be the most hated or be the worst at the sport but everybody loves you? The best and most hated. For sure. Right. Makes sense. For yeah. sure. Fuck okay. Because that's usually true anyway. Right. For the best. Exactly. Yeah. The what, most loved and most hated at the same time. What do you think the world's going to be like in a thousand years? Hmm. Um, I don't know, man. Hostile. Yeah. No, no. I don't, like some Mad Max type stuff, maybe. Really? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> if I had to guess, I don't know. Nice. God, speaking of Mad Max, it was one of the fucking things that dude in the theater said. Holy shit, man. All right. <laughs> I'm already making Mad Max references. Dude. Oh my god! You know what it was like, dude? It was like having David Lindsay's brother in the theater, <laughs> but I don't want to say like in personality, in voice. It, it was his voice. I was like, "That's Jacob Lindsay's voice coming from that seat." <laughs> okay. I don't want to put hate on Jacob Lindsay. He's a he's a cool he, guy. He's a good guy. <laughs> He's a good guy. He would not talk in a theater like no, a little he, bitch. He would respect the theater. Yeah. He would drink his twisted teas and shut up and watch the movie. <laughs> All right, man. Cats, dogs, and frogs. 
Pick one to keep the same, one to be erased from existence, and one to gain sentience and a humanoid body. Cats, dogs, frogs. And when we say a humanoid body, we mean, yeah. you know like the new Cats movie? Uh-uh. <laughs> watch it. You'll hate it. <laughs> you'll watch it. Yeah, you'll hate yourself. You will contemplate suicide after you oh, watch God. it. Cats, dogs, frogs. Pick one to keep the same, one to be erased, and one to become just a humanoid thing walking around. One of us. Hmm. Erase frogs. Um, probably keep the cats and then the dogs as a humanoid. Okay. That's not bad. That's a good choice, man. I wonder what a dog would be like in a human form, you know? Would you just be like the super like excited thing, excited all the time, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be like those dogs from Sesame Street. You know, like the, the real handsy dogs. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about, Jack? I don't think so, dude. I don't think I know. It's, it's been like so a, long since I've like watched a, it. A brown dog with floppy ears, and it's like in a, it's like in a suit coat, and it's like real hands. Are you talking about Gruff oh, the Crime Dog? Okay. No, I'm not fucking talking about Gruff the Crime Dog. <laughs> I'm talking about Sesame Street, and like they'll be like real hands messing with the ball on Sesame Street and shit. You know what mm-hmm. I'm talking about? I, I'm you know getting memories about? popping uh-huh. in my head. Yeah. Yeah. I vaguely remember what you're talking about. <laughs> so fucking weird. Okay. Uh, what animal would you want to be friends with in real life? In real life? A wolf. Really? You want to be part of the pack? Yeah. Do you have a childhood n- nickname? Uh, Blakers. Okay. Yeah. Lakers. Yeah. Nice. That's exactly where it came from. If you could switch places with anybody, who would it be? Hmm. Shit, if he was still alive, Kobe. But, um... I'll say Machine Gun Kelly. Okay. Even though everyone hates him. But I I think it'd be cool to be, like, just a musician. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you get to fuck Megan Fox. (laughs) Big big plus, too. Sure do. All right. Or not. (laughs) Or not. (laughs) Open the back cave, Megan. Would you rather live in a sci-fi world like Star Trek or a fantasy world like Lord of the Rings? Fantasy world like Lord of the Rings. What's your dream car? My dream car? Hmm. A Bentley. I think a Bentley would be cool. Yeah? Yeah. Would you have a driver or would you drive it yourself? Drive it myself. What's the lamest thing you can think of right now? The lamest thing I can think of right now? <laughs> Being on this podcast. No. <laughs> um, going back to work. That'd be pretty lame. Yeah. How do you like to treat yourself? How do I like to treat myself? Mm. Taking trips. Like psychedelic trips? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I've got three bottles of stack or two tonight, guys. I'm going crazy. <laughs> Ooh, mixed with ayahuasca. Hey, Blake, you moved your mic towards me? Yeah, you accidentally yeah. just moved oh, it. Oh, shoot. My bad, dude. You're good. Okay. What do you believe in more than anything? What do I believe in more than anything? Hmm. These are good questions, dude. Make you think. The United States of America, probably. Do what? You believe in the United States of America, don't you? Yeah. What's a what's a core Blake value? What do you believe in more than the United States of America? I don't know, man. Um Rock flag and eagle. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, Do you have any religious values? Anything like that or anything? No, no? not really. Do you believe in gravity? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll say gravity. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in the sound the hoop makes when I put a bucket in. Yeah. You know? All right, man, you're starting a cult, okay? Oh, gosh. What is your prime 
thing that's going to get people to come to your cult? What are you offering that other cults aren't offering? What's your hook? Yeah, what's your hook, man? <laughs> freedom. Hell yeah. At least. Supposed yeah, freedom. Supposed, supposed freedom. freedom. Yeah. Within these walls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jamie's giving you three wishes right now. What are they? Hmm. Can't be more wishes. Yeah, real wishes here. Mm. More time in a day. Okay. Um. Man. For. Dang, dude. I don't know. You guys are stumping me. Less time, less work time. Like, so, so even more time in your day. Exactly. Because <laughs> uh, you can't get enough time, dude. No. No. Um, and. Hmm. And twins. And, and twins. twins. And twins. <laughs> twins. I love <laughs> <laughs> parties that never end. <laughs> Burritos at 4 a.m. <laughs> Dogs and little cats <laughs> and twins. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, man. Here's the last question. There's a list of noodles. There's a lot of noodles in this world. Oh, mm. God. I forgot this question existed. <laughs> Out of this list right here, what is the sexiest noodle? Oh, gosh. The sexiest noodle? Yeah. yeah. This ain't trick. This ain't no trick. Mm -hmm. Which one of those noodles that you look at and you're like, bruh. <laughs> I just uh, might. I just I might. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> linguine. Hot as fuck, dude. Yeah, good choice. Good choice, bro. <laughs> There's really not any wrong choices on here. No. I mean, I could... Kyle can fuck them all. Yeah. yeah he will. <laughs> That's his bucket list. Every day. Yeah. One noodle a day. <laughs> all right. So I had a, uh, one of our common, one of our uh, listeners like a, two weeks ago. Um, let me give him a shout out real quick. I want to say was person's called Lena Lauren six seven eight four wanted to know if any of us have ever been given a wedgie. So uh, no, no, nothing as far as I remember for me, but I do have a wedgie story. Okay. Um, so when when I was like six or seven, um, my cousin Dayton, he was like maybe three or four, maybe he was really young, and he was like walking around in his uh, tidy whities or whatever as a kid, and he was on the counter walking um, near like the sink and stuff at his house. He falls off the counter, and his tidy whities get snagged on one of the handles of the cabinets oh, and no. he ends up just dangling from there <laughs> screaming just dangling this supreme wedgie this <laughs> ultimate <laughs> nuclear wedgie and he can't he can't get off he's just like ah! and uh yeah we all we were all laughing about that that was a good time nobody got hurt dude man i forgot about that victimless dude. crime but uh <laughs> yeah he uh he he definitely regretted that i think after that we gave my brother a wedgie one time and like ripped the the band like the top band, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. We ripped that off of the underwear. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Cuz this is this is how we did it. <laughs> we uh had him l lie <laughs> lie on a table, right? <laughs> and then <laughs> It's, it's like back of the shirt was just like barely like poking up a little bit to where you could see his underwear and me and my stepbrother just look at each other and he just points to the waistband. He grabs one end, I grab the other, and then we both just run as far as we can. <laughs> and just immediately 
<laughs> just ripped it off, but not before like really ramming all that underwear up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> <It's tough. laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Which brother is this? Taylor, I can't remember why we even got him on the table to begin with. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Did he like hit the ground or something after that? Or was he still on the table? Or? He was still on the table. Yeah, okay. Holy shit. He was kind of hugging the table, so like the table almost came down. You know? Right, yeah. All the right, underwear gave before the table did, so. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> wow. And it was like one of them fucking card tables, you know? Just a square, pull out four metal legs. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. Damn. Yeah. That's great, man. Yeah, that's the only wedgie story I can think of. Yeah. I remember taking wedgies, but none of them that were like insane, like, Enough to talk about it, you know? Right. Just yeah. straight up normal wedgies. Like, ah, you got a wedgie now. And I'm like, oh, fuck you, dude. Yeah, that hurt, man. I remember when I was really little, um, not receiving any wedgies, but like I remember learning about them in school and wanting to get home so bad so I could do one to Connor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I, it seems like I got at least one or two out really good ones before it was like outlawed completely in the house. But I have memories of really, really wanting to give Connor a wedgie, like, so bad when I got home. I, I remember that, like, starting a fight or two. Yes. Yes, because it was just like, you know, I'm not going to just take that, you know? <laughs> like, right. It was one of those things I just remember, like, fucking, brah, as hard as I could, just fucking to the sky, man. It was just, yeah. love you, bro. No. <laughs> He's no, like, I'm not no. five in that. No, sorry. <laughs> You got any wedgie stories, bro? I don't, dude. Yeah. I've never been given a you wedgie. Want, you want a wedgie story? No, sir. Let me ask you. Let me ask you guys. You guys ever been pantsed? Like deep fucking yes. deep pantsed in public? Yes. Oh, it is um, surprisingly, it's happened to me like five or six times at McDonald's. Oh, no. <laughs> the perfect place to do ordering it. my food at McDonald's and then boop. Luckily. Underwear never came down during any of them situations, but still, it's not a, it's not a, it's not pleasant. You know? No, for right. sure. Yeah. Remember those like pull apart pants? Yeah, the ones like yeah. with the buttons. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kids used to fucking rip those open all the time. Mm-hmm. Man, I'll never forget. Um, because uh, I played basketball for my whole whole fucking life. I remember in ninth grade, uh, the point guard, Zach something, Zach Todd. I want to say. I'll fucking call him out because fuck that dude. <laughs> but um, I remember he fucking was an asshole. He pants me at the beginning of practice. So during practice, I got super pissed and pretty much fucking based him in the face with a ball, dude. So hard, man. And then when practice is over, I fucking pants him right in front of everybody, dude. And it was one of those things where his underwear came down with the pants Oh, fucking great, dude. Because mine didn't, my underwear didn't come down, but it was still embarrassing enough to where I was like, fuck you, and I'm going to get you back tenfold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good times. There's nothing worse than being a kid and your wiener gets revealed to everybody. Yeah, especially because in, 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 out in the wild, you're not expecting it. You know what I'm saying? You're mm -hmm. not expecting it to, to be presenting a penis to the world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You want your sure. penis to be presented in a flattering way, not exactly. just uh, There's yeah. no time to fluff. Yeah. Yeah, you got, yeah. yeah. And there's nothing smaller than a penis. Like, there's no smaller penis than a post practice penis. Right. Nothing. There's no blood there. Yeah. There's nothing going on. <laughs> it's just a bunch of boys there. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nothing to get excited about. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've, I've seen a lot of people get pantsed fucking on, just be playing basketball out there, just people being assholes, you know? Of that, yeah, yeah, you ever been pants, Blake? With the, I mean, I wouldn't call it D pants, but like people would rip open the okay, yeah, you said that, yeah, yeah. my bad, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to want pairs of those so bad, man, yeah, I was like <laughs> specifically <laughs> to rip them off, like, <laughs> like yeah. And what situation do you really ever have to just fucking blah? Rip have them off? Hulk Hogan's "I am a real American" as <laughs> you're ripping them off? Yeah. Another topic for you guys. Uh, I've really been thinking about uh, this game 
from my childhood called Legend of Dragoon. I've been wanting, I've been thinking about a remake for it for a, a long time, but recently a lot since Connor shared uh, some screen captures of like 2D remakes of it, you know. But thinking about that, I was also thinking, man, I would love to see a Burnout game, but with today's graphics. You guys ever play Burnout? Yeah, yeah. You ever play Burnout? The guys that made yeah. Stuntman went on to make Burnout. But uh, yeah, they made, it was made by Criterion Games, but. It would be so fun to have a, a new a new burnout game with today's graphics. I mean, put all your money into the car physics and the car destruction. Don't put all your money into like the the world looking super nice because you're seeing all that fly by you anyways. But then I was thinking about the wrecks, man. I'm like, and then my mind just started going. I was like, wait, what if what if when those wrecks happen, you could combine cars with people and then and steal their car and become one giant car, and then everybody by the end of the race, there's really only three or four cars driving because everybody's combined. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It wouldn't work for multiplayer, but it could work for single player. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, Kyle. I'm going to smoke this, and you repeat that sentence. It might make sense then. <laughs> uh, you guys got one. Uh, so the Legend of Dragoon was the one that I initially thought of. I knew you were going to say that, so I'm like, I'll have a backup. Uh, we were talking about Space Jam earlier, mm -hmm. the the basketball game for um, PlayStation. Really love that game, so that's kind of a maybe. But um, Jet Force Gemini for the N64. Made by Rare. Yeah, it was like the first uh, third-person shooter I played. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys ever played that game, but uh, really, really cool game. Uh, fighting insects, insectoids in space. And uh, a lot of cool guns and stuff. Yeah. I've got three games. Ooh. And all of them are card games, if you can believe it or not. Stuntman, for sure. Stuntman okay. is like my favorite like video game from the PlayStation era. Okay. So, definitely Stuntman. Um, I'm tr you guys may or may not remember it, but I loved this game a lot. I think it was called Spy Hunter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was essentially, you're just in a souped up vehicle. It's got rock. It was basically a 007 vehicle with all the fixings, you know? Mm -hmm. And it was just race from point A to point B while also destroying all this stuff. Okay, yeah. And the last one is Twisted Metal. Just bring back that video game franchise. I want a tr another Twisted Metal so bad. Yeah, and see, what made Twisted Metal really good was controls weren't the best back in the day. Mm -hmm. So you could get away with a Twisted Metal because a lot of it was lock-on targeting. Mm -hmm. In today's world, lock-on targeting is so not fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but this is but in Twisted Metal, it was all about just trying to survive while looking for the weapons that you need that's going to get you the most damage done in one sec. Because you always still have the uh, machine gun that's right. just stock on every... That's just line yeah. of sight firing. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, that was half of the game was trying to actually get the weapons that you need to really do damage. Because yeah. just doing that machine gun alone, you're not going to win. And if you're going to do a Twisted Metal, you got to have some really good car destruction physics like Burnout. Like, Show mm -hmm. some ball in physics. They and need to take the physics from that Beam NG drive. Or Wreckfest. Yeah, or Wreckfest and just add it to those games. By the end of the race, your car is literally hanging on by a prayer. You know? I think that would be really cool. Blake, you got any games that you, th you can think I, of? I have a few. Do you remember uh, Blitz the League? Yes. yes. Yeah, I think that would be pretty dope. Like, being remade. Like with the graphics and stuff. Mm -hmm. Was that? I forgive me if it's not the exact right game, but there was a football game, and it might have been Blitz League, where the coaches would give like steroids yeah. to their players, and After you break they could, bones and they stuff. could, yeah, they can make decisions. Be like, your player has a concussion. Yeah. Do you want to send them back in? Broken whatever, <laughs> and then they just give them some juice. And yeah. They get back in the game. Um. Like the true crime games, true crime streets of LA. Yeah, the I third one of that was called Sleeping Dogs. Oh, for real? Yeah. Did you know that it was supposed I did to be? Not a, know that. It was supposed to be a true crime game, and they changed the name to Sleeping Dogs. Oh shoot! Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. 
Those are um, games that I always looked that I will watch the trailer for them when I was younger and think that those were like the coolest looking games outside of Grand Theft Auto. I That's kind of s- what it was like. Kind of. Mm-hmm. I remember seeing it was either the second one or the first one was on the cover of Game Informer. And I always remember thinking this looks so cool, but never played it. Yeah, same. Really? Yep, never played it. I just was very insular in the games I actually actually chose. It was mainly a lot of like RPGs and racing games and just like, yeah. And like Mario 64 kind of games where you're just running around as a character, but like I never played games where you're running around shooting people with like real guns or something like that or mm-hmm. you know, we weren't allowed to play Grand Theft Auto or anything like that. So it just wasn't even on my radar, you know? Right. You got any other games? Um No, no, not really. Yeah, I remember you saying at work that Resident Evil 2 was one of those. Did you ever play the remake of that? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, I played the 2, the 3. I didn't really care for, like, Village and... um, 6? Yeah. Not a lot of people like 6. No, I really enjoyed 2, 3, and then they remastered 4. Mm-hmm. I've already beaten that three times since it's come out. Yeah. Yeah. Really good games, man. Graphics are good in those new remakes. Really good. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, I think it's called Outrun. It was a game on Sega Genesis where like you're playing you're just like a car and like guns would drop down on you and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um like you would add like a turret to the top of your car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you'd have to like try to like collect fuel to keep going and then not like get hit by the other cars and stuff and blow them up. Um, that was a cool game back in the day. Kind of same kind of stuff. Yeah, another game that was on my list was uh, Desert Strike. Desert Strike, yeah. But I saw a company right now is like just released the trailer like a day or two ago. <clears throat> An HD version of it. That it was it's got a different name, but it looked exactly like how the plane, the helicopter, the helicopter flies and all yeah. you know, stuff. So. Wow. Okay. Cool. Jackson, you got any others? Honestly, man, I'm starting to like venture out of like the old console games and now i'm thinking about arcade cabinets that i would like to have now you know mm-hmm. area 51 area 51 for sure that would be dope time crisis would be dope mm-hmm. um a gauntlet game that didn't suck quarters out of you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i would love to have that jurassic park game that was at tilt like yes, back dude. in the day yes it was so much fun it was uh, was that one of the games where the where the gun vibrated like a motherfucker? Mm-hmm. So I, I think I knew so. The, I, th- I know the Terminator game, the gun vibrated like a son of a bitch. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, also, like I've been falling back in love with pinball again. I'm sure you could see me on on a Discord always playing that pinball arcade game on my PC now. Mm-hmm. So I've been getting very heavy into pinball lately. That one was pretty addicting. What was the name of that pinball game on Microsoft that was like built into the computer on like Windows 2000? Windows Ooh. XP. It's called like Space Cadet 3D or something like yeah. that. Yeah, man, I played the shit out of that. That was fun, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love that pinball game, dude. Yeah, having like contests was like even mom and dad to see who gets better score and stuff like that. Every once in a while, there'd be a game where mom and dad would really care and want to play with us. You know, that was always cool. Yeah, and there'll be times when it's like, oh, someone's on a good game over here, and we all go like watch them play because it's just like, oh, they're they're really getting up there, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Fun. Neo's fighting Morpheus. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, one last game. This came out in PS2 era, but I would love to see them remake Lord of the Rings: Third Age and just make that a cinematic masterpiece, because that is a game where it's just you know, it's just turn based. That's the mm. whole game. Yeah. So they could they could if they wanted to just like go in, overhaul the graphics and just make that game look fucking gorgeous and just be like, you know what? This is the game that we're going to make that's gonna be like the next pinnacle for graphics. And we can do it because it's turn based and it doesn't require all these extra things that you do in other games. Mm-hmm. There was uh the other game for me, the last one on my list was a uh, there was a PS one fighting game. It was called X Men Mutant Academy. Oh, that game was dope, dude. Yeah. Yeah, we played the shit out of that one. Sweet. Yeah. I just remember playing with uh, Nightcrawler a lot, just getting really good with his teleporting ability. But 
as a younger kid, man, I really loved X Men, especially like uh, that X Men Evolution show that was on mm-hmm. Saturday mornings. <laughs> I was gonna say you played Magneto a lot too yeah. on that game. Magneto's always been my fi- one of my favorite X Men or Brotherhood. But uh, yeah, that there was something in the menus of that game, dude. When you selected fucking Nightcrawler, he would go Quay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would fucking, I would do it over and over and over again. I've got it in my brain of just him going, Quay, 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 Quay. Hell yeah. <laughs> the stupid shit you do as a kid, man. It just sounds funny. Man. I remember, you guys ever seen those G.I. Joe videos? You ever seen any of those redubbed G.I. Joe videos? Mm-mm. Have Love you, em. Jack? Yeah, I've got all of them on my hard drive. <laughs> yeah, me too. There's one of the videos where it just like constantly is like, bitch, you want to touch that button, bitch, button, bitch, button, bitch, button, bitch. And we were, <laughs> we would just push play on it over and over and over again. It's so good. I oh. showed I showed Anakin like at least seven or eight of those G.I. Joe videos like a few days ago. And he was just like, what? What is this, dad? What? <laughs> he, just, he was so confused. Like, where did you find this? Why did you like, how did you find this? Like. Why is this funny to you? Like, why is any, why is any of this funny, Dad? And I was just like, it was hard to explain, man. I was like, it was a, it's time and place, son. It's time and place. <laughs> These kids aren't supposed to be saying this stuff. <laughs> yeah, and there was one that I showed him. It was like Bert and Ernie. It was uh, they were laying in bed. And it was like redubbed, and it was like. Ernie asking his dad, like, what cum was? <laughs> <laughs> so fucked up. <laughs> I love redub videos. Yeah. Um, you guys ready to go ahead and move into Yo Dude? Check this out. Yeah, sure. Yo, dude. Hey, yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo, dude. Jackson made that song. Jackson's made all of her music for us. For real? Yeah. So far, yeah. <laughs> That's cool, though. Yeah. He's our talented boy. Um, <laughs> I, I fuck around. <laughs> he fucks with that shit, that music shit. Um, yo, dude, check this out. Um, Kite Man is this new show on HBO Max. It's a DC show about supervillains, and it's actually pretty funny. Pretty funny little comedy. What's so, it called? Kite Man. Kite Man. Yeah, Kite Man. Hell yeah. Okay. He's like a villain that just has like a kite on his back. So there's, there's a lot of comedy about that and stuff. Okay. And it's like there's like a lot of like other like major like like Lex Luthor, Bane, um, Harley Quinn's there for a bit, Poison Ivy. There's like a lot of major villains. But it's like a it. It's like stupid versions of all these characters. You know, oh, yeah, they're it's all very dumb. Yeah, they're all punking on each other and like ta- they're all talking shit about Lex Luthor and like Bane's voice is the voice from fucking Dark Knight Rises, but a stupid version of it and just like Bane's re- like stupid. Like yeah. it's it's really good, man. If you if you're into DC at all, it's pretty good. I'll mm-hmm. check it out. There's like yeah. two episodes out right now, so. I like they I, don't they make like dark side like kind of like a happy go lucky kind of guy. It's like sort of in the bar or whatever. Um, he's got cracking like a jokes. Daughter. He's got like a daughter, so he's like he's like hanging out at the bar and stuff. He's not like trying to kill everybody. Or gotcha. Anything. Yeah, it's a pretty good show so far. Yeah, I like where the I like where the DC universe is going now with James Gunn James as the yeah. as the head. It's it's more funny. It's it's more lighthearted, but still more more crass. You know. I yeah. think I think people will end up changing their opinion from like only marvel dc sucks to like okay dc is getting better and not, maybe not as good as marvel for some people mm-hmm. but for people like me that really like dc i'm gonna be like you know we're as good now i mean you just we'll have see. to watch suicide squad the newest suicide squad to see like okay this is kind of where this is going like and peacemaker tv show peacemaker for yeah. sure and that new show rebel Com- or uh, creature commandos yeah that looks really good mm-hmm yeah I like some good. I like good animated stuff if it's if it's good. Like I don't want any like crappy, shitty yeah. crappy anime. Like uh, some of the anime fucking sucks. Yeah. Um, yo, dude, check this out. Did you guys hear about Disney getting hacked? Mm-mm. Like a really big hack, like a, a like terabyte worth of it, of data. Wow. And there, it's one of those things where they're it's stuff's gonna be just eventually pick through over time and we're going to get more and more like okay we found this in the in the data in the terabyte 
a memory that they stole or whatever, you know, just stuff being leaked. Um, what's crazy about the whole leak is they got it from someone downloading um, uh, mods for Beam NG. Really? Yes. They got in through some malware installed with one of those Beam NG mods, got in, hacked this dude's computer at Disney, and then from there, boom, just got a terabyte worth of his memory. Wow. Damn. Uh, Off of Beam NG? Yeah. Cause did he like install one of the mods on his computer? Um, it's probably then hot truck or hot truck mods or whatever. What I'm trying to say, you know what I'm saying? Monster truck. I say hot truck. <laughs> Monster truck. <laughs> them hot trucks. Watch them out. hot trucks, man. That's <laughs> fucking crazy, That's man. That's crazy. Yeah. I wonder if it's like consumer data or if it's like patents because they've got a whole bunch of patents and stuff on like technology or. It's, or maybe not like patents, but like blueprints and designs and stuff. Sounds like they just got a tons of shit. Like maybe new projects in development, projects that haven't been announced yet. Like what you said, just a could gamut. Be, could be a lot of stuff. Could it be a lot of stuff. It was, it's hackers that are pissed that, um, do you guys remember what, remember what Club Penguin was? Mm-mm. That sounds familiar. The Iceberg Lounge? No, Club, <laughs> Club, Club Penguin was like just, it was just a social game, right? It was kind of like Sims, but you were a penguin. I think Club Penguin was a website that hosted, like, um, Flash games. Oh, okay. We love Flash games around here. Yeah, and I think um, when the, when Disney shut that down, I think, it, from what they're saying, they're pissed about it, and like, okay, we, we've been trying to get you, Disney, because you shut down our shit. That's crazy. And that's the only thing, man, and it's pretty freaking crazy, man. You guys might want to look into a little bit more, but... It's all based off of someone downloading mods for Beam NG, man. Like, mm. how crazy is it to think, like, okay, we're trying to get Disney, so we're going to put this mod out in Beam NG, and we got him. Like, what kind of, what kind of crazy, like, four-dimensional chess are you playing to have the foresight to put out a mod that is just, it, it blows, blows my mind. I've been thinking yeah. about it for days, dude, like... You put out a thousand threads, and eventually one of the threads yeah. leads to where you want to go. Yeah, waiting for someone to pull that trap. And it's like, oh, we got somebody finally over the. Yeah, it just it just blows my mind what hackers go through. And supposedly the name of this group is a pornographic name. It's called um, Null Bulge. So what's that even mean? Null Bulge, like it, it's a uh, taking the word noble and bulge. Put so, it together. It just says it's a pornographic term. I didn't do too much research into that. But yeah, this thing had a Trojan virus in it. Fuck. Gotta watch out for those Trojan dog. Looking at you, Jack. Watch out for those Beam and G mods, dog. Yeah, They're man. not gonna get anything out of me though. A See, whole terabyte of Jackson's. They'll get my information and be like, ah, this guy's fucked. You see what <laughs> freaks me out, because like while I was looking into this stuff, I myself was downloading mods for next from Nexus mods for um, this game I was playing last week, uh, Horizon Forbidden West. I downloaded some new mods, and I was downloading mods, and then all of a sudden my downloads folder folder got locked, and I've never seen that happen before. And it was wanting me to like type in a password to get into my freaking folder, dude. I was freaking out, and I looked it up, and it was like, oh, this is a common problem that can happen with Windows things, and it wanted, like, all I had to do was just type in this thing that was like, I eventually got back into my downloads folder, but I was freaking the fuck out for, like, a good 24 (laughs) hours, like, I was like, Kyle, you stupid son of a bitch, you did exactly what this fucking article was talking about, you are the fucking motherfucker that got hacked, oh, man, yeah. Hey, I've actually been semi-victim of hacking before. Or I, malware. I remember that. When yeah. We were living together. That shit was crazy, seeing your computer just bricked. Yeah. As soon as you turn it on, it, it's an FBI warning on oh, my screen. Shit. And, like, weren't they wanting, like, a... Uh, they weren't. They were wanting money, right? They were wanting like fifteen k. Like, you owe fifteen k to this blah, 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 for downloading. Blah, 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 blah. And I was just like. I'll just throw this computer away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hack this bitch. Yeah, yeah. And what's crazy is I turned it on like six months later and that shit didn't pop up and I just started using it again. <laughs> They're probably just like, ah, uh, he's not going to pay. Yeah. <laughs> he's not connected to any internet anymore. <laughs> Game set and match. Man. Yeah, those, those were my LimeWire days, bro. 
Lime wire, dude. Mm. God. Were you ever a lime wire kid? Yeah. Of course. Everybody our age. <laughs> That's when I was constantly coming over to your house with like a little flash drive. Be like, dude, I've got the new Pacific Rim movie on this, dude. Yeah. <laughs> a long time ago, man. God. And then there was like frost wire. Yep. yep. It's like yep. the same exact thing. But. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which one had more AIDS? We won't know. Yeah. Mm-mm. My Mm-mm. computer got AIDS from both of them. So. Mm-hmm. Nothing like my dad getting home and being like, what the fuck's wrong with the computer? Like, oh, fuck, man. Like, oh, yeah. Now I'm going to be the one to fix this because I'm the most technically competent person with this computer, but I'm only 12. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Such a weird feeling. Like, I'm the most competent person with this technology and I'm 12 years old. Yeah, it was like that for a long time, dude. God, yeah. man. You got anything, Blake? No, I don't. That's cool. Okay. That's fine. All right, dude. Thank you for coming on this podcast, bro. Yeah, thanks for having me, dude. You're welcome. Love to have you on again if you ever feel like it. Yeah, for sure. Heck yeah. Hells yeah. Nice. Um, you got any words of wisdom for the listeners out there? I don't. Like, don't take any wooden nickels or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Don't break your jaw. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no don't break wooden your nickels. Jaw. <laughs> for sure, don't break your jaw. I'd love to see a wooden nickel now. <laughs> it's funny. My dad, every morning, we, he would wake us up. He would first start off by flicking the light switch on and off to wake us up. God, nothing like waking up like that. But then he would say, uh, boys, say no to drugs, say yes to Jesus, and don't take any wooden nickels. And then he would leave every morning. (laughs) Weird dad we got. Mm. All right, that's been episode 146. If you liked what you see, like and subscribe. If you don't, do whatever whatever the fuck you want. Whatever. Eat cheese if that's what you're into. It's a free society. A whole block mm-hmm. of cheese. Eat yeah. it. <laughs> if you choose to not subscribe and like this episode, you better be eating a block of fucking cheese. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I've been Kyle. He's been Kyle. I've been Jackson, and he's been Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Peace. Crashing with friends. Oh. Yeah.